Well, hello everybody, I'm AstroAlson11, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last episode, we explored the Fairon Woods, and, well, opened up the door that allowed us to make way here to Lake Floria, and now we're ready to continue on and look at the Water Dragon and see what's going on. But, here we are in this place, and wait, there's a freaking, not even a starfish, but some tier, I forget what these fishies are called, a belly fish, I guess. Back, another human! Okay, okay. I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. Oh yeah, buddy, you think that's gonna work? Well, it's not gonna work for me, buddy. It's not gonna work on me. Because, I mean, I'm a bit quick for you, buddy. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go follow me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellence the water dragon about your little incursion. Okay, well, that's a little bit rude. I mean, I'm just lo I'm looking to help her. Ah, I didn't see that coming, did ya? Yep, there's no way you're gonna be able to follow me now. So what, now are you gonna cry? If you think you make it through, just go ahead and try. Um, I hate to break it to you, buddy. But, uh, yeah. We have a special ability. Yeah, how's the impossible? I've never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait, that's a water dragon skill. Does it make you the emissary of the goddess, like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her excellence. Take me to her. Yeah, about that. It happened really recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went at right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy, did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So could you please go talk with her excellence to see if you can help her out? I'll even take it to her. Follow me. Alright, so I guess we're gonna follow this dude to the water dragon and see what's going on, see if we can help her out. See, that's what we're gonna be doing. I hope you all do uh, enjoy this episode and have been enjoying this series so far. As I'm trying to make this more freaking along with other series, and I hope you all have been enjoying so far. But, oh, I see, so we can't go ahead of them. We need to keep on track with them. I see. I see how it is. Okay. I see how it is. Uh huh, that's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here, and the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now, what do we do? Well, I have an idea of what we can do. Go ahead and just smack him, and boom, there we go. Your friend is right here. So, hey, what's up, buddy? Peep, don't eat me! Uh, your excellence? Me, the water dragon? No, are you looking for her excellence? You possess one of her scales, so you must be a friend of our kind. I'll tell you where you can find her. The water dragon lives just a little ways for up from here. If you want to make note of that, that now's probably a good time to do it. Alright, I mean, I don't feel the need to. It's a secret to everybody. Yeah, they all make that same lineup. It's a secret to everybody, but in reality, I mean, we know what the is, to be honest. I mean, we, we should know by now, right, guys? I mean, right? Right? Let's go ahead and smack the jellyfish in there. That actually opens a pathway. So there you go. Now, I actually, I actually do believe... Yeah, now more of the map is open, and wow, it opens up a lot more. So, yeah, all the way to pretty much the end. Oh, no, that's using your noodle. Perhaps it's just up ahead, over this way. Uh, using our noodle? What the hell do you mean by that, buddy? What do you mean by that? Um, what? I am confused, buddy. Um, I don't know what exactly you mean by that, to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna ignore what you said, and just hope that I don't have to uh, hear you speak like that again. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. I don't know how to feel about that. But, you know, just so that we ha at least have the bird statue, even though we can't warp down here. May as well investigate this and just save here, because, well, why not? And yeah, because we got some progressing to do, because, I mean, we gotta follow after these guys and make our way to the water dragon, and oh, crap. I might run out of oxygen. Uh, huh, um, I might run out of oxygen, never mind, there's oxygen bubbles, sweet, awesome, nice. Now, I do believe he's gonna talk about us getting over this, even though we can literally just do- Oh, come on! Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh, you can't get through? Sheesh, you humans in your bones. Talk about inconvenient. I guess you can leap over on top of this well if you have to. Alright, well, I mean, I tried to leap over and do a cool dolphin jump. Such as this. There we go. Let's go, Link. Well, perfect jump. Oh, I'd call you amazing, but I think we both know it was the water dragon skill that made that little stunt possible. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty true. Yeah, I'd say that's Pretty true in accordance with what's going on, yeah. Uh, without the scale, we probably wouldn't be able to do that really sick jump, I'm just saying. But I wouldn't be able to, but this time I'm not gonna save I'm not gonna save it every statue, just cause I don't see the point. I mean, if I can save at uh, this one, 
uh, real quick after I grab a couple of these things. But, okay, let's kill these choo-choos because they are a nuisance and I don't like them. Let's open up this chest and get ourselves a goddess plume. Okay, that isn't our first, is it? Nope, it's our second. Goddess plumes are actually really nice. They're actually like the rarest treasure to get in this game, I do believe. They're very nice though. Like, very nice. And actually, I do believe there is a goddess cube in this area. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, watch them guys. But, but we need to save the water dragon. Hell yeah. I mean, the rhythm of saying words of all killing the choo choos. Satisfaction, baby. Satisfaction. But. Let's get this goddess cube, and then we want to move on and see the water dragon so that we can hopefully help her out. Because, I mean, we kind of want to help her out because, I mean, if she's going through problems, then we gotta help her out. I mean, with our hero, after all, we're the hero of the sky, of Skyloft. We're the hero of all damn Hyrule. But now let's go and actually pop a save here, and then we'll continue on to the water dragon and see if we can give her a helping hand. And, well, with those chests and all that I grabbed, I mean, I think we are set to continue on. So let's go and follow this fish here, which I think is like a seahorse or something. And let's go ahead and continue following along this path on our way to, well, the queen of all these fish. And that will be the water dragon. Or as they like to call her, her grace. Which is reminiscent of the goddess. But here are these guys. Yeah, sharks. Yikes, so they're back. That's one of the fish that we were brought in here and needs to attack her excellence. Or her excellence, my bad. Watch out! Watch out! They're mean as they come! Alright, well, these guys it may seem rude and scary to face on, but they're actually not that bad, to be honest. All you want to do is spin once to stun them and spin again to kill them. They're very simple, to be honest, and that's really it. Wow, the guy sure knows how to pick them. You did great! Yeah, well... You can keep on saying that to flatter me, though, um, we all know this is the power of the Water Dragon scale, so... Yeah, let's not forget about that bit. But here, you might not notice me, as this is literally a door. This is quite literally a door, and, um, I'm pretty sure... Come on, buddy, please. There we go. At last, we're here. Alright. Well, I guess... Here we go. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon is just up ahead. Hang on just a second. And yeah, now the guy's going to use his head as a literal key. Yeah, his head is quite literally the key to unlock this ginormous door. No idea how or why this is a door. It looks more like part of a wall, but okay. On the HD version, they didn't really um, update the quality of the door. But okay, I mean, I guess that works too. But let's go ahead and swim our way in. And well, here we are. Where the water dragon resides. And it's gonna give us a whole look at this area. I thought it was gonna have an actual name to it, but I guess not. I thought it was gonna be called the water dragon's resting place or something. I don't know why, but I just thought so. Better will speak to the water dragon here and see what she needs. Ah, you there, human! You have entered my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. There's no place for one such as you, and yet here you stand! You explain how you got here, and quickly. Uh, water dragon? I am. Those with manners address me as Pharaon, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say, know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Hmm? I say, that's one of my skills you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be cared by the goddess's chosen hero. But could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that skill in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. How did you find me? Ah, uh, yes, that cackling old hermit Kiko told you where I live, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Oh, uh, but I digress. You've come here to sing a sacred flame, have you? Of course. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and I'm now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? 
You got it. I'm analyzing the water remaining in this basin. Excellent. I cannot help you douse for the water type you are searching for. And now, the sacred water is a dousing ability for us. Master, you do not have a container suitable for transporting water. Please prepare a vessel for this purpose. Okay. If you continue down this way, you will find an exit. Find an exit back to the woods. Excellent. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. And if I says we don't have something suitable, that's only because all of our bottles are filled with well things. But we want to use one because now we do have something suitable for carrying the water. So as long as you have an empty bottle, it should work and you should be able to do this quest easy peasy. And if I should have said that you do have something suitable for the quest, it's just that if you haven't if you don't have an empty bottle, then well you don't have something suitable for the quest. But what I wanna do is uh, go ahead and and swim my way up and yeah, do that bass I was looking to do. Alright. Now, let's make our way out here, which is this really pretty area. And, it, uh, normally you'd want an item for later on for this, but if you go ahead. Now, if you do upgrade your beetle to a quicker beetle, then you should be able to still get this. Um, I think so. I mean, off camera I did upgrade the beetle to the quick beetle only because I really wanted to get this upgrade. And I didn't want to just go through the game in this playthrough with a slow beetle, so that's why I did this. But all we want to do is fly the beetle all the way over here. As yes, there it is a goddess cube right here. And yeah, we can get that. It's just that, well, we need, again, an item from later on for it. But I do believe we can make a way over here. At least I think so. We should find a shortcut. Yes, here we are. Here we are back in the uh, main Faron Woods. But, Master, I have information to report. By my estimates, you are currently situated in the southwest area of Faron Woods. Please confirm your location with your map. But yeah, now we are in the Lake Floria area of Faron Woods. But yeah, here we are in a separate part of Faron Woods. And I believe now we have pretty much opened up the entire portion of Faron Woods. But now with the shortcut created to make our way back to Lake Floria easy peasy and back to this temple, let's backtrack. And what we need to do is figure out where the, pretty much, water is for Her Excellence. And that is going to be, uh, first let's get this fair on Grasshopper just because why not, it's easy peasy. But besides that, um, let's go ahead and make our way up to the sky and figure out where we need to go. Now, where we need to go is going to be... Um, back, back to somewhere we haven't visited in a while. It was the first temple in this playthrough. It's gonna be interesting, but let's go ahead and actually first, I kind of want to keep my back up to Skyloth before we do this, because I do want to see if I can do a shield upgrade in order to upgrade my shield, because it's a pretty cool design, and plus, I would love to see if I can upgrade my shield, especially to the max. If I can fully upgrade the sacred shield, that would be amazing. I would love that. If I do some grinding off camera in order to do so, then okay, I'll do that. But let's hope that I won't have to, because to be honest, I don't really want to have to grind much. I've already done some grinding, I wouldn't mind doing more, but still, I don't know how I feel about it. Let's go ahead and speak to him, and say we want to upgrade, and now let's go ahead and see. We do indeed have enough, let's go ahead and upgrade it to a better shield so let's go ahead and skip this and here we go we got ourselves the divine shield now in order to upgrade this shield again we need more bird feathers so of course i can of course grind those off camera easy peasy but yeah these are bird feathers we need two more and that's really it just two more and then we can upgrade this to the uh sacred shield or no not even sacred shield but it's known as the goddess shield so pretty nice. And we need three ancient flowers for the beetle. Do we actually upgrade the slingshot? So let's go let's go and do that. So if we can upgrade the slingshot, let's freaking do it, dude. Let's do it. Let's upgrade all the items we can. Cause I wanna do so. And there we go. Now we got ourselves a scatter shot. So now we can shoot out more bullets pretty much. So yeah. But yeah, now we actually need another dusk relic, so never mind. Um because it because I did the slingshot upgrade. Now we need another Dusk Relic, so I guess we will not be getting the Goddess Shield um, uh, very soon because we need to do other things. But I do believe 
if we speak to her over here. Um, yeah. She'll talk a bit differently. Now, this is the start of a quest. Um, but, um, nothing. There's nothing wrong. It's not like, oh, hey, that guy's back. I'm so happy or anything like that. But if you think about how often we meet, you have to admit that our relationship has gone beyond employee and customer, you know? Oh, no, I didn't mean to. What am I saying? Please forget everything I just said, okay? Okay, get it together. Be professional. Do you have anything you want me to hold on to? Uh, yes, please. See, I just say wonderful. Now, this is the start of a whole side quest where, basically, she will slowly start to pretty much fall in love with Link. And this side quest is all about Beatrice being in love with Link. I mean, pretty much every NPC in Zelda games usually falls in love with Link, but you know what I mean. <laughs> she really starts to like Link in his shows as you constantly visit her to uh, store your items. I like to just visit her just to progress the quest, but you can also visit her to the store items as well if you want to, but... Yeah, this quest will actually result in some gratitude crystals, so it's pretty nice. Well, it's good. Make our way off to the Faron Woods Beacon, and yeah, just make our way back here and off back to the first temple of the game, because that's where we will want to head for uh, the Water Dragon quest. We did some item upgrades, which I'm happy with, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with them. Let's go make our way down. And I want to say we should be able to guess the great tree. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. I am sorry. Okay. I know you want me to continue on with this game and progress. But first, before we do that, I need to get me some bird feathers. I need to get me some bird feathers. Damn it. And I keep on doing the wrong thing. There we go. Jesus. And we're even on the wrong height. That's fantastic. Now you can die, Keese. All right. And actually... While I'm here, may as well see if I can get a certain glass chest. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Go! Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Now, yeah, now we can actually get ourselves this goddess cube. So pretty sweet. There's another goddess cube for us. Of course, with these goddess cubes that we're collecting, we do have rewards in the sky for us to search for. But first, let me um, traverse uh, over here, because actually we don't need to go, even go back to the sky, because what we need to go is just right up ahead at where the first temple in the game was. So let's go ahead and do just that. And let's go ahead and swing back and forth, just like what we did in, uh, uh, the, in the, at the start of this playthrough, not the original, because this is the original playthrough, this is the pretty much kind of walkthrough, quote-unquote, playthrough that I'm doing. But, okay, okay. Patience is key. Patience is key, guys. Okay, you little crap. Had you ruined it? Dude, why'd you have to ruin it? Seriously, okay, now, let's actually wait, and the birds should come back. I mean, I, I think so, at least. I think so. Yep, the birds will come back. Now, just be standing careful. Just be standing careful, and we can get these birds. You know, we can go ahead and get these birds as ASMR. Master Austin, ah, damn it. Okay. I suck, apparently, at being silent and not being dumb, so let's go and wait it out again. Let's go and wait it out again. We can do this, okay? We can do this. Let's be silent. Patience. Patience is key. Patience is key, Pepe. Let's go ahead. Just walk up slowly, you know, just walk up slowly. And we can do this. Just walk up slowly. And we'll be able to get two bird feathers, you know? We'll be able to get two bird feathers. Let's go ahead. And there we go. Boom. Okay. One more bird feather, and we should be set, so let's go and just wait it out. I think when, uh, the birds should come back down, I think so at least. I'm hoping so. If they don't, then that's alright, but oh wait! Wait, okay. If you guys look, that's symbol right there. If I move the camera down just enough, that hole right there, you can notice. If you've played Ocarina of Time, if you know from my Ocarina of Time 3D playthrough on the channel forever ago, then you'll know that uh, tree. It kind of looks like the Kokiri symbol, right? I mean, tell me I'm not just making things up, guys. Like, that Loki looks like the Kokiri symbol from Ocarina of Time. Just the swirl, that reminds me heavily of the Kokiri from Ocarina of Time. And you cannot tell me otherwise. I, I mean, you can at this point, you cannot tell me otherwise. Okay, let's go and wait. Wait out again. And the birds start coming back down. There we go, okay. Don't worry, I will go to the temple, guys. I will go to the temple and get the sacred water for the dragon, but I want to get a bird for so we need these bird feathers. Oh, we need these bird feathers. It's some in the building. 
Uh, yeah, baby. Okay, we got three bird feathers. We're set. I don't need any more. I don't think so. If I do need more in the future, I'll just grind them off camera. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, drop a bomb there. Heh, <laughs> drop a bomb, baby. Uh-huh. Oh! Um, I didn't think the bomb would blow up and, and hit this bomb, too. Um. Uh. Oh, let's go. I blew him up. I blew him up. And oh, he, he fell off. Oh my god, that's too funny. Yeah, the Bacoblin fell off. I don't care, though, to be honest. Let's go ahead, though. And snatch this. And now, let's go ahead. And okay, dude, dude, dude. Please, please, want it. Stop it. Stop being annoying. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Jesus, bees are so annoying. It's one of the reasons why I just hate bees so much, but, um, wait. Can I not actually... Oh, I do need to use the bird statue. Okay, I'll be right back, everyone. Alright, here we are. Back at the first temple of the game, and now it's ready to progress on, but actually, wait, wait, wait. I think... I'm pretty sure we need the claw shot for this. Yep, we do. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try and get a goddess cube that is right up there, but I can't do because... Yeah, we don't have the item, but... As you can tell, the dusting ability is letting us know that the sacred water that we need is located right inside of the temple. So, yeah. But yeah, sacred water. Bibbidi babbidi flip blah, 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 blah. Shut up, five. My god, I don't care. I know. Okay. And, of course... There are enemies. Come on, there we go. Perfect. Oh, wait, drop the heart. I'll take the heart. There we go. And now let's go ahead and just cut these down. And now just cut these trees because we need to continue. And of course, you notice that, well, the shortcut we created this, when we first went through this temple, well, we still have that shortcut. But here's this mole. Hold it, you're that guy. That guy meant the volcano. Here to do some treasure hunting too? Yup. I called it, you got treasure hunter written all over your face. Did the big stone guy out there tip you off the loot to off to the loot too? Uh stone guy? Yeah, what do you say again? Strum accord most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. So I get here and I let loose with some of the most gorgeous humming I've done in my entire life and nothing happens. Posting how I've come this far, there's no chance I'm gonna give up the hunt for treasure just yet. And what he means by chords is using the harp. All you want to do is use the harp and just play it, and there you go, the crest will show. But well, there we go. Well there, buddy, I bet you think you're going to run ahead and swip all the best treasure for yourself. But it's here you're setting yourself up for some big time disappointment. Just because some weird design propped up on the wall doesn't mean you're any closer to finding treasure, alright? I think you've been had by that boulder with legs. Stay here if you want, I'm going on ahead. Alright, but if we go ahead and use our sword as a scabbard strike, We'll be able to draw a design, and pretty much what you want to do is literally just draw a design, and it will give you what the closest thing you can resemble to what you want. So just draw it to. I of course want to be kind of rich, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw um, a rupee thing as best as I can. Hopefully, I think it's a rupee. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Of course, I could use the money for item upgrades and whatnot. So. Yeah, I could definitely use the rupees. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Any goddess wall you see like that, um, you just want to use your scabbard strike because that's how you do it. And, okay. And of course, he's going to get a lot of hits on me. Hey, you do not damage my shield, you little crap head. Really? You are really about to do this to me? For real? You little crap hole! Okay, that's it. Out of here, buddy. Die, please. Just die, for the love of God. And there we go, okay. Can I please get, like, some hearts or something? Great, because of course not. I lost so much HP, and the game does not even bother to try and give me something in return. Great, it's just great, okay. Now, actually, I do believe... Uh, we want to head into this room, so let's go ahead and make our way into this one. Because this is where we will find the key. As the moments we got from the Earth Temple, we want to use here to find said key. But here's another mole. What's up, man? This is fantastic. I work like a weasel just to swipe a key from that monster, and then I have to go and lose it. I just can't remember which hole I hit it in. 
Oh, and here I thought that kid would be my ticket to a life of luxury. I could have sworn I buried it right around here. And, well, he did bury it right around here. Okay, seriously. Yeah. Okay, this is annoying. I hate cobwebs in this game so much. They're the most annoying thing in Skyward Sword. I swear to God, guys. Alright, right, let's go ahead. Swim down, because, of course, now that we have the Water Dragon scale, we can go ahead and do that. Okay, let's ignore the pufferfish. Please. Let's go ahead and ignore him and swim our way up. Because we want to make our way over here with the moments. Which is going to lead us to this, which is the small key that he buried. So there we go. Pretty simple and easy. Let's go ahead and now make our way back over to the locked door. Unlock it. And make our way onwards. Because yeah, we got we got to do that. We got cut to do. And now, I will say, there's an exciting little fight that's ahead, um, in this tumble. There's an exciting little fight. It's gonna be interesting, but we'll see how things go. We'll see. But, let's go ahead. And face off against these guys. And yeah, these enemies are very easy. I mentioned it at the start of the LP, but pretty much, once they attack you, just wait for their heads to recenter. And then you can just do a simple soap like that, and they are dead. So, yeah, it's very simplistic. Now, I believe we just immediately make our way all the way around, and we should be good, at least I think so. Um, I think so, at least. Uh, hopefully the keys don't bother me, I'm really hoping so, because I would really appreciate the keys to not bother me right now. Let's go ahead and try and grab these hearts, I could absolutely use them. Let's go ahead, though, and yep. With them, and oh, sweet, would you look at that, the game is being so generous right now. The game is being so generous. Um, I want to say we just want to make our way around here. Okay, keys, don't bug me right now. Okay, yep. Here is where we want to use the beetle in order. And I want to make sure you check. Yep, the arrows will not reach us because they have the worst name in the world. Let's go ahead, though. And. And. Drop the bomb, okay. For a second I was scared there, I was like, wait, did, did, why isn't the bomb dropping? But, there we go, that's simple. And they will shoot arrows, I used to, if you were on this, they would shot arrows. And you either would have died first or fallen off. And yeah, it would not have been good. All you want to do is use your beetle and just drop a bomb on them. Pretty simple. But I love how these last couple episodes have just been, like, just preparing for the next temple in the game for Scarlet Sword, so it's been pretty funny, honestly. Sheesh, I did... I dig some serious mouths to get my paws on treasure, and I found squat. Talk about bad luck. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods. There's nothing here but water now. Who in the stinking world will come all this way for water? Nobody, that's who. I'm coming my loss and heading home. See ya. Well, what he doesn't know is that we are looking for water. We need water for the water dragon of Faron Woods. So yeah, let's go ahead. Probably save real quick. Normally, I wouldn't do this on camera just because I normally don't save on camera, but... There we go. Now let's go ahead and make our way into the boss room and let's do this. Because we do have, again, a boss. And it's going to be an interesting fight. Let's see how things go here. And yes, the boss is three Stalfos. So yeah, it's going to be a very fun. Bye. Okay, I am a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit scared. Okay. Yep. Constantly hit him. Like this. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I am a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Bye bye. Ba Bam. And all you wanna do is just be careful. Okay. Just be careful, and we can do this. And. Ba Bam. Bam, bam, bam. One down. There's two more to go. It's pretty simple. All you want to do is just be very careful. And I'm not gonna try pairing with my shield just because I want to break. I don't. I really don't feel like spending 500 rupees on a new shield, especially when I just use treasure to upgrade it. But let's go ahead. You know what? I feel confident. You know, what? I feel very confident. Okay, he hit me. All right, there we go. Pretty simple. And there we go. All right, we're doing pretty good right now. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's not get hit like that. 
Okay, all you want to do, I would say just hit him like that, and there you go. Very simple. Honestly, not a bad boss fight, to be honest, but as long as you got things down just right, you should be able to do it just fine. But there we go, that is the South Post done. Now let's get ourselves a sacred water and make our way out of here. And since we do have an empty bottle, we can actually get the sacred water and move to the water dragon. Let's take sacred water nearby. There are no monster auras causing interference, so you can douse here. And well, yeah, now we can douse here. And well, I'm pretty sure I already know which um, waterfall has the sacred water if I go ahead and... Actually, wait, let me check real quick. Did I ever get the goddess cube here? Okay, I did. Noted. Now, I'm pretty sure, yes, the one with the fairies around it, yes, it's right here. Ironically, the one with the fairy is it. Now, let's go ahead and use our empty bottle and scoop this, which is going to be some sacred water. It's not any normal water. It's not like a normal water bottle. No, it's sacred water for the water dragon. There's a 95% probability that the water here is identical to the water within water dragon's basin. I suggest we take it back to her. And what we shall, and the game is going to automatically... Uh, have us leave out of the temple, and now here we are back in the deep woods. And yeah, there is a, also a moblin here, and I don't want to deal with him, so I'm going to go ahead and head back up to the sky. And I'll meet you guys when we're back at the water dragon, ready to help her with this sacred water. Off we go. And now here we are, back at Lectoria. Apparently, I don't think I actually activated the bird, uh, bird statue that um, was right by the temple. I think I forgot to activate it. My bad. Um... I'm kind of dumb for that. Uh, I didn't realize that I hadn't activated it, so kind of dumb on my part. But oh well, we just need to backtrack our way through and really, Link, why did you float up? Why did you float up? You're supposed to do a cool spin and make your way over. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make our way back over. And I love how you just constantly spin. And it's just so much fun. I love this, honestly. Like, this in Skyward Sword is just awesome. Swimming in Zelda games is interesting, I mean, Skyward Sword is a good swimming, I'd say, in a Zelda game, is good, besides the motion controls, so that's good swimming, and then Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom, they have good swimming as well, um, I would just say the, really one Zelda game that really pisses me off in terms of swimming controls would have to be Oracle of Ages, I love it as a Zelda game, I really do, the Oracle games are great games, but Oracle of Ages, it just has some of the worst swimming mechanics I have seen in a Zelda game. But yes, just look at that color, there's no doubt about that this water... There's no doubt this is the water I need. Quickly, boy, put it in my basin. Alright, now, Link is just gonna, yeah, literally pour it pretty much on the ground. He doesn't, he doesn't even climb up or it doesn't even look like he's elevated. He just pours it, and that's it. Yeah, lazy. <laughs> oh, well, it works. I'm not complaining. Oh, well. <laughs> it's just fine to me that he doesn't even climb up. But here is the actual water dragon. She is ginormous. Yeah. Hmm, exquisite. I can feel the energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of Pharaon, water dragon, and guardian of these of these lands. Stand tall, healed, and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favor you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. Now, behold. Um. Oh, the sacred flame you see glass within this place. While the waterfalls barred, barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in, and inside they flourish. Ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Sweating a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. Farewell, boy. Alright, and the water dragon goes. I find it interesting how she has a leaf as, like, on the end of her tail. I mean, it looks like a tail at least, you know, but... Either way, now what we want to do is swim our way up just like this and re- Again? Blink again? Really? Do you- Do you have to keep on doing this to me? Seriously, man? Come on. You keep on doing this to me, man. Yeah, there- There we go. In order to take on the next temple of the game, which is going to be, well, 
I'm not gonna spell the name yet, but I'm excited to take it on with you guys. Either way, if you also enjoyed this one on the Legends of the Skyward Sword HD, please should leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Click that subscribe button if you are new and want more content likes on the channel. Zelda, Nintendo, gaming, whatever it might be. I do a lot of gaming content on the channel. Please should subscribe for that. And click on that bell. Turn on your post notifications by clicking all. So that you are notified whenever I post a video. So they don't stop on any of the content I post. Either way, I'll see you next time. As we take on the next temple of the game. Let's make way on. And in we go.